Hello people that are house the and today I just want to remind people that we should never take communities for granted. Either that be a folk club, a football club, or even the community that you live in. Uh, obviously I'm a proud member of my local tidy towns. Uh, I, I'm a bit of a football person too, as you can see. Um, you know, I am very proud of my community and everybody should be proud of the community. I know, I know some communities have their problems. Every community has a problem, right? Um, our community basically the only problem that really has is well they come to take it for it we don't really have major problems. Um, Bob balance is a tiny bit of a problem, but that's really it. Um, but I'm saying to people take pride in your community, because I do tidy times. I do tidy times every day. I do collect a lot of collections, as everybody knows. I'm sure. Uh, unpaid. I don't get paid for the talk. You completely wouldn't take any money out of a community. Um. But I'm just saying to people, it's always good to get involved in these things. Com community tidy towns, folk clubs, ca cow games. There's cow games for older people too. You can get involved in them. They don't mind young people coming in and having a bit of fun playing around. Um, or even your football club. It's always good. I find it to be good to socialise and talk to people. You know, get to know people. Get to know your community. And, you know, I feel when I go out there to collect, I know I'm on about myself again. I know um, that you have a sense of Love and your sense of passion about your community. I can feel that when you're going around and you're doing your community business. Uh, it's great. I really do enjoy it. I enjoy it myself. I know many people probably do too. Um, it's good to be part of a community. It's good to belong to some place. It's well, that's the best word I can use. It's good to feel belonged. And it's good to feel you're respected and you're loved in your community. And I'm saying to people, never take your communities for granted. No matter where you live. I know problems do emerge in communities. I understand that. But as a community, and as a general population of a community, you, people can walk around. There's no problem in this world that can't be solved. And it's really simple that. It only takes, it takes, to, it, problems do take time to solve. Situations do take time. They take effort. They might take dedication too. But eventually they will be solved. And I'm saying to people, if you feel like you are, uh, What's the word? You feel frightened to go to your local football club or to intervene in your local clubs. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid because you're, you're local the same as everybody else. And it's good. It's good to get involved in these things. I felt like, like for a long, long time when I was young, um, I stayed on my own. I really just stayed on my own. I wasn't much of a young person. Everybody had much friends to talk to. I just stayed on my own and just did nothing. Um, obviously I regret doing that because I could have been doing tidy towns. Obviously back then we didn't have a tidy towns. Back when I was young, but that's when God was a ghost and Uh I'm really not giving myself any credit for this. Um, <laughs> God. I bust me, I now I'm busting myself laughing now. Oh God, I, I often say something funny and I just never stop laughing. But again, um, but my advice to anybody. Don't be scared of your communities. Um, always try and do something for your community. It's always good to talk to your, talk to your community, do things. Um, because community, without community we're nothing. And that's basically what I look at, the way I look at it. Because we are fortunate to live in the community. Even if we live outside the community, our nearest community would be our community too. Um, we're fortunate to live in communities. We're fortunate to have great people in our communities. And we obviously have great people who do community walk around it. I'm not giving myself any credit here. Um just to say we obviously have great people who do on fast schemes and on schemes doing good work, cleaning up litter um you know, keeping the keeping grass cut and maintaining the, the town or the village. And you know, they're part of the community. Everybody's a part everybody has a part to play in the community. And I'm just saying to people Communities are the best things, and we we are, we take communities for granted, and that's more or less. Years ago, especially around Cavan, where I'm from, um, communities were, you know, valued. Communities were valued. People valued. People love being in communities and clubs and football games and different things. They love being there. They love interacting with people and chatting to people. Older people especially, because they were on their own, and they like coming out for an hour or two to go to a football match and talk to people, you know, in the... Um, have fun and you know, um, basically not be on the wall. And I'm just saying to people, if any of your older people 
because we should respect the old people. This is going back to respecting older people. Um, if you ever know any older person, you know, and if you have a community, I'm not saying about Teddy Talents, we're not expecting an old person to go out and do any work for Teddy Talents, because these people have done a lot for their country. Um, I would just say, if you if you have a coward game or anything, or for, if you go into a football match and you have a, you know, a place to shout or anything like that, invite them, invite them. Because, you know, you don't know, like, this has come back to community. But, um, you know, they might be scared to ask. They might not feel like they, people would want them there. But, you know, we have to try and welcome them in. That's the way we do it around here, too. We, any older person, we try and welcome them in. We say, you, you want to come to the game, we, we get you in for free. And, you know, yeah, you get, we get your tea, we get you some biscuits. And you can enjoy yourself and you can talk to people. And, you know, and they, they feel all happy because they were, they were asked. They didn't have to go and ask. They were asked to go. You know, and that's main thing. Main thing in communities too, is to always look out for your older people. Always look out for each other. That's the main thing too. Always protect each other. Always help each other out. Because that's what the community's about. Say if I'm in trouble in the morning. You know, if somebody if somebody I knew was in, the, in my community in trouble and they needed a bit of help, you know, I go and give them a hand. It's likewise the same. If I needed to help in the morning, you know, if they knew I was in trouble, they'd be like, no bother, you know. And the same with me, I, if they needed help, I'd be like, no bother, you know. <laughs> no bother, no bother. <laughs> I just have a habit of doing that now. And you see me for now, I'm just being like, no bother. Like, out there at the moment, outside my window, uh, there's a bison club. Yeah, there's a community bison club. Um, and they're going around, they're having their cycle for an hour or two. You know, enjoying themselves, you know, having a bit of an outing. Um, so yeah, good to take part in them things, good healthy exercise, especially bicycling. And I'll take a chance to subscribe more and bye.